Hello YouTube and welcome to Chrome Forex. Yes, you are looking at Transport Fever 2. For what end, you might ask? Well, we're following this nice lady to an industrial building and apparently we are playing on a new map. Which map, you might ask? The Great Basin. And I have some mods, so yes, strap in. It's gonna be an interesting series. It's gonna be beautiful. Let's start. Right. With that intro out of the way, let me show you the map. As you can see, we are just outside of Charleston and in the Great Basin area. The map is pretty huge and I hope my computer will allow me to actually show it in all its glory. We have some good rolling hills, we have rich lakes, we have some wonderful rivers. A lot of coastal cities and I'm hoping a great potential for a beautiful and nice series on the transport fever. So uh, the reason for me choosing a Charleston would be because well simply I can pronounce it besides and also it has some good connectivity so I'm gonna pause here for a sec and let's check our destinations layer. As you can see, Charleston here has very high frequency of transportation going along and I'm hoping to actually utilize that to somewhat extent where it connects to the nearby city of Cedar, which then in turn connects to the Cedar, Cedar Center. And uh, when it comes to this commuting, this three would form the backbone of my new line. Right. So, with that thing out of the way, let's see how we can connect these three. Switching over to the land use. We have here some residential, which are well connected, and actually I might lock down a station over here, initially. Which would still have this area within the catchment. Then I would obviously need to do something around here, maybe just something sneaking here and down, no, up. Here we have some coastal real estate, cool. obviously might need to bulldoze down this building and then we go into Charleston which we could brush off on hopefully maybe this end here and then proceed onwards to Olethi and Rancho Cucamonga. Oof, that was a mouthful. All right, enough dilly dallying. Let's get into business. So how do I want to tackle this? Well, this is, I said, is a good residential area. We'll hook it up better if we need to. It would be nice uh, with the cars, but I'm sucker for trains, as you know. And we'll keep things rather simple. So let's do a very simple, a very modest train station. And yes, I know I will be suffering further down the roads, but it, it is what it is, people. Get used to it. So connectivity here. I don't get these guys. Nope. If I get a little bit of these, oh, well, that's not great connectivity now, is it? Hmm. What about here? Okay, that's better. I might, might want to choose this over the other one. What about... Oh, I have an idea. What about if I put the station over here? Now you're talking, chief. And it needs not to be, it can be an end station, which means it can be a terminal. Wonderful. Terminal building, something like this, and it would be catching everything. So the people will be here boarding the train, going somewhere, going places. Yes. No. Let's see. I want to align it nicely so it doesn't look like some schmuck put it over there. With that schmuck being yours truly, obviously. And this will look marvelous once I extend it to 700 meters. 
sure. Literally didn't think of that one through, Chief, right? Oh, I'm gonna get a refund on that. Oh, well, don't mind if I do then. Yes, I need something that's extendable, actually. Something like this, yes. Right, now. Let's put it like that. Good catchment. Do I feel confident? I do. Hit it. Right. Okay, that will be extendable. Now, let's see where do I want to be putting the second guy. Uh, not this, this one. Okay, let's road up the section, medium street between the two of you, what do you say? And uh, if I plop down here, 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 and then you turn somehow sharply. Right. Buildings. Oh, that's gonna be horrendous. need to move away from that layer now. Alright. You here. Some good connectivity. What about here? Decent. Well, alright. I think when I'm starting good connectivity is kind of really important so I'm gonna cram it here and be none the wiser. Right, tracks. Now comes the fun part. fighting me on this one, aren't you? It's gonna be a pricey track, I can tell. 100, 100 large? How much is just to bulldoze you? Okay, this is 300 large. But then maybe you, 75. Okay, let's pull a trick I've learned from the guy I know called Carl kernel failure. So, put a road ish here, help develop the local community for which they will be absolutely thrilled. We put another road here, and we make it sort of it's like a winding road. Yes, sure it is. Chief. There we go. Citizens will be thrilled. Now, we can safely remove this to appendixes and ran the track as we initially planned. Devious, you say? Absolutely. And only for a fraction of the cost. Now that's what they call progress. Now, where is my track? Okay, so I need to cut this appendix as well. There we go. And now we just need to connect the two. And this will be a sharpie. Better to put it while it's fresh. Oh, this is gonna be price. You're gonna fight me on, on this, aren't you? Now, let's see. There you go. 
a nice coastal section of the road. Go here. Yes. And then here. Oh, no, 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 no buildings will be removed for this. There we go. And then like this. See? It'll be reasonable. No. Off you go. You're blocking my view. Yes, I understand, it's not for the better of the community, but it's for the better of yours truly, so... Don't care. Now, let's see the track. Ah, there we go. See, too much curvature. You don't say, Chief. Exotic on me. There we go. Horrendous. Right, that I think would secure. Where did we say we want to put the station over here? Somewhere along this area. True. So. spending money willy-nilly when I shouldn't be, but it is what it is for people. There we go. Train station. See? It will work. Now just hopefully not go bankrupt while we're doing it. There we go. Just connecting the rest of the train. E. Works like a charm. Okay, I'm trying to be some way around it. Train depot. And I was just thinking somewhere, somewhere where it makes perfect sense. What about here, huh? Yeah, that would be the best place to cram it, I think. Or no, actually, hold on, hold the press. Nope. It has to be over there. Why? Because it calls to me. There we go. Tracks. Done. Alright. Time to put in our first train, shall we? Now, let's build a line. New line. You guys will start at Cedar Center, go to Cedar, go back to Charleston and come back to Cedar. So, and this is Cha Said. 
it's a very intuitive line of the chat set. Right, now let's talk about vehicles. Center train depot. Let's buy a Baldwin six-wheeler choo-choo with two wheels. We haven't broken the bank yet, but we're about to. There we go. So, shall we do the honors? Yeah, I know where financials are. Yeah, you're acting as if I don't know where they are and it makes kind of sense. Now let us shut up and enjoy this moment. Oh, yeah, obviously you have to assign the train to the line and it all makes sense. There we go. Always loud, like the sound of that. Look at this beauty. She may not be fast, but she will take you places. There we go, look at that view. Oh, this is gonna be gorgeous. Obviously, we're in front of the train, so let's move our camera ever so slightly behind. And look at this. Oh yeah. That's the money shot. There we go. Uh oh, treat, treat, treat. Ow, ow. Look at this. Oh, that's a shot. Does that mean that we already have our first passengers? I don't think so, but we just might. There we go. Oh, look at this. And it's already going back. Okay, so now it's going to Charleston. Okay, so it chose to actually pick up the line there. Well, no arguments on my side, Chief. Obviously, I mean, this line shouldn't be that much hilly, but what can you do? So, now let's just nerd a little bit about this train here. Oh yeah. Beautiful. I don't want to see the costs, they're just depressing anyway. It's a huge turnover of people. I really hope that this train will hopefully alleviate this. There we go. No, all right, that's the line set up. But what about feeding those stations? Because, as you can see, it has excellent catchment area, but still, people are commuting back and forth quite heavily. Hmm. So, destinations. Yeah, see? People really don't go places, they go this way. Oh, well, now if I would create a simple railway connection, if I had just thought about creating it here, that would have been probably a much more lucrative prospect. Okay, never mind, we built some commuter lines. So, building. Stop right next to our glorious train station. Right in front. Oh, we have people. Ladies and gentlemen, we have people waiting. Awesome. Now, that bus stop should, in theory, go places. It should go this way. 
then for a nice hefty catchment area of this area and then finally before going again back to station this area hopefully that would be enough and let's build a new bus line or coach line i should say probably so let's see we add you Miller Street, Lincoln Street, and Franklin Street. Obviously, you have to have a Franklin Street somewhere, so this should be Seed Center co Commuters, and it should be serviced by a depot, which I'm about to build somewhere along this line. Where is this? Is this a tram depot? No, that's a road depot. Okay, fair enough. Then we stick it somewhere here. 28,000, well, 40, okay, doesn't matter. Road depot. Buy vehicles. Horse drawn carriage will take two of those. And both should be put on the Cedar Central commuters. Let's give them a nice escort shout out, shall we? There we go. Let's take a look. My my. It's 8 and 50 and we already have a highway and congestion. Okay. Clearly not something I expected, but here we go. Hopefully the passenger traffic will pick up eventually. Ah, I miss transport fever. This is gorgeous. In the middle of 19th century, the industrialization just starting to pick up, trains going places and yes, cities become cities. Right, right, off you go. Now, we have a line feeding the Cedar Center, we have already ooh, 8 people feeding the train, how many people we have on the train? Zero, okay that's bad. We should feed some of them via Cedar and then some of them from Charleston. On Charleston we already have at least one passenger, that's promising. So now we should extend the reach. These commuter lines should be feeding, in theory. So, buildings. All fancy. Yes. There you go. So we put you like here. There you go and some stations along the city. Let's say you will collect passengers here. In the industrial zone. At the opposite end of the industrial zone. And then we are gonna swing right here on the wide section before going again to the new line. Here we go. Charleston Branch, Locust Street, Maple Street, Dogwood Street, 10th Street, and then obviously going back to the Charleston Branch. And this would be Shop Commuters. And this one, since it's a bigger line, should be serviced by more, I think. And they're gonna take forever until they come here in one day. Let's put another road depot. I'm thinking somewhere along these lines, somewhere where it's cheap to connect. Yeah, 15,000. There's the ticket. Now, buy vehicles, and I'm thinking like four should do it. Four drawn carriages, we buy them, and they're gonna go for Charleston commuters.
How is our train doing over here? Two passengers here. How many does it have on board? Ooh, nine. See, this is what I'm talking about. With some more ma waiting over there on the Cedar Center. Maybe not. And where are these people going? 20,000 C. Wonderful. So, where are our commuters traffic? There we go. So, Antonio Evans. What do you see? Yeah, you see two horses' asses pulling you. Okay. Yeah, there we go. See? That's what he sees. Ooh. Wow, that's a sight. Look at the horses, they're just, you know, happy, dancing. Alright, now let's go a little bit further out of you. There we go. Oh, this guy apparently appeared out of nowhere. There we go. Pull off a left indicator light and overtake, man. I think he he thinks he's driving Indianapolis 500, and this is Charleston, dude. And there we go, our first station. Will it stop? No? Hey, dude, that was the station back there. Oh, boy. Well, let's see what we have over here. Hotel, a peaceful town of Charleston, is getting its first commuter service. And the turkeys, well, for the fans of my previous series, you know what the turkeys do to us. They tell us we're on the right track. Jeez, this is a lot of traffic here. this guy out of the way we have one more meter service so we have Charleston and Cedar Center time to take Cedar into account we have to get all those commuters to ride the train because we want them to ride the train tickets are expensive and I'm making money off of it so of course I'm gonna build the trains after all I'm not in it for the goodness of my heart I'm in here to make money station here there we go so how do I want to approach this streets yes I'm gonna take you wait for it this one yes obviously industrial area because everybody is going there for no apparent reason there we go and then final stop somewhere along these lines yes it catches everything okay good now this is, would be the cedar commuters new line blue line perfect cedar sidings followed by the forest street followed by the 15th street obviously second street and Willow Street, very nice. So, seed commuter, com, not communists, commuters. Sorry, that turned out wrong. Now, where do we have a road depot to supply the vehicles? There we go. Buy vehicles, and I think three should suffice for the time being. We don't want the cost to be too high. Road vehicles and Cedar commuters. There we go. Okay, so now that we have all these three services set up, we can actually go and enjoy our train ride now. Where's the train ride? And it's gathering losses. Of course it is. It's running half empty. And look at that slope. Just what you want to see on an early era steam locomotive that has zero traction power 
Yeah, nice going ground forks. Still, I'm gonna enjoy every second of it. Look at that. Ooh, there are apparently ooh, quite a lot of people to ride the train. All aboard! With eight people heading for Cedar Center, well, this will be making millions in no time. And I must say, the vistas are just dang gorgeous. Anyway, I plan to keep this as a ride along for... Just to preview what it's gonna look like. You know, subtle music, rolling hills of... I wanted to say Alabama, but I'm terrible in geography. I have no idea where this should be, Ontario or what? The Great Basin? Okay, let me know in the comments below what you, what exactly area am I covering and help me alleviate my lack of, complete lack of ignorance for geography and other sciences. Now, let's go to Cedar Center. Now that's the money shot, isn't it? I wonder how many passengers will be waiting there at the Cedar Center. There will be more than, I don't know, seven, eight, I'll be very happy. Oh, we're coming up to what seems to be a full station. Oh, goody, 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 goody. Richness, fame and fortune, here I come. Ooh, look at that. Ain't it grand? Oopsie, and look at that. Alright. And with this money shot, I leave you. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Like if you like the episode, hit subscribe for more Transport Fever awesomeness coming your way. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. This is Gromverse, signing off.